What's up guys? Cole here at Offline Performance and today I wanted to go through um, a few of the things here on our well, OTL 400 shop car. So this is our 2018 Subaru STI. It um, has a few cosmetic changes, but other than that, on the outside, it's mainly just a stock car. We did some few things like update the front end with the uh, um, fog light deletes and um, the Corozan front grill. But other than that, the whole car is pretty much stock body. But of course, whatever he wants to talk about is underneath the hood. So let's go underneath there real quick and check a few things out. As the name goes, our 400 horsepower, 400 uh, foot pound um, torque package. So basically what you're getting here is a very simple stock upgrade that you can do to uh, um, pretty much any Subaru STI. But um, we wanted to highlight it in the um, 2018 or VAB chassis in general because it is uh, the most modern Subaru STI and um, you're getting pretty much all the creature comforts of a normal modern car, uh, but also with the um, all the character and um, performance uh, that you'd come to expect from a pretty crazy Subaru. So um, you can see uh, the upgraded ETS top mount pretty much right away. It's kind of screaming at you with the uh, red anodized uh, tile bluff valve. And um, underneath that, we have the um, Cobb 20G. So that's a stock location turbo. And typically when we're doing stock location turbos, you want an upgraded inlet. In this case, we have the HKS carbon fiber inlet. Now that's not something that we typically offer on the uh, normal 400 package, but in this case, think of this 400 package as the craziest, like as, as far as you can go uh, when it comes to uh, the 400 stuff. So um, carbon fiber inlet, HKS uh, stuff to the factory air box. So factory air box is gonna be doing pretty much everything that you need to do um, uh, with just an upgraded panel filter. And then we also have some charge speed upgrades to it. So underneath the car, we have a cold air intake snorkel. And then we also have the charge speed uh, inlet. So you can see it's all painted black, so it's kind of stealth, but there's actually a Ram air inlet. So that helps with a little bit of cold air airflow as well. And um, obviously with top mount um, intercooler cars and stock air boxes, we just want to keep the heat management um, to the to you want to keep the heat to a minimum so um that helps us do pretty much all of that while retaining some of the stock uh looking stuff and keeping everything look really nice um other than that in the engine bay uh, we also have the cob aos that's anodized red so it kind of matches the whole theme and then we also have our otl frontline fuel kit so frontline fuel kit Basically what that is, we have um, fuel injector housings, we have a 8AN fuel rail, um, ID1050 injectors, and of course a fuel lab, um, fuel pressure regulator with um, fuel pressure monitoring. So we actually have a sensor there. So, so speaking of engine management, this car is running on the Mtron KV12 ECU. So, so with the CAN bus integration on the KV12, we retain all the factory uh, vehicle functions. So. Uh, we have SI drive, the multifunction display, the no lights on the dash, any of that. So um, really nice upgrade. Obviously a massive difference from just doing the stock ECU, um, but you get a ton of motorsport features while also retaining those factory vehicle function functions and having it run like stock. But the last few things you can see in the engine bay, obviously with the Mtron, you have a wideband um, controller and that is the uh, Bosch LSU 4.9. So it's very fast. Um, wideband and um, you know obviously just the most accurate uh, possible AFRs that we can read on the ECU will help for numerous reasons um, but to finish up the engine bay here obviously we have a nice uh, few dress up things such as the um, alternator cover with our uh, titanium hardware we just went with the raw titanium because the burnt obviously probably wouldn't match too much but we do have some 
um, really nice titanium stuff like the chasing uh, J stuff, uh, carbon fiber, kind of just everywhere, the charge speed stuff. And then obviously we have the upgraded radiator. You know, if you're doing all these upgrades, you might as well focus on a few things like engine cooling, um, just because if you are driving the car every day, kind of helps keep the engine cold. And it's also nice to be able to take this car to a track and know that you're gonna be still having nice cold coolant temperatures and nothing bad's gonna happen, right? So all that being said, cooling system wise, the only thing else that we can touch on is the beautiful um, Illuminati OTL coolant expansion tank. And that just replaces the factory plastic um, expansion chamber. Looks nice. That's pretty much it here in the engine bay. So let's close this up. And let's go on the inside of the car before we get anything too crazy. So besides the OTL 400 package, we wanted to um, kind of show just a few things um, that we can also do here at OTL. Then it's obviously we're not gonna be doing a bunch of this stuff, but we do obviously um, want to let you know, people know that we uh, do a lot more than just engine work. So we have a full um, kicker sound system. So replace the factory ECU, obviously, um, we changed the factory um, seats. This is uh, the base model car. So uh, we put in actually some 50th anniversary STI seats, uh, Recaros, and they are uh, the electronic ones. So they go up, down, left and right, the whole the whole deal. So we wired that in. And uh, we also, if you wanna come in here, have a nice uh, Pioneer display. So we just replaced the factory um, uh, head unit. Enough of the interior talk about the outside of the car a little bit more specifically suspension wheels tires all that um classic te 37 sls on the car these are 18 by nine and a half um i forget the offset exactly but it's the typical 18 by nine and a half uh sti fitment and um we're running some pilot uh super sports on there um the car is lowered on aragosa suspension um these are the comfort model aragosa coilovers going to the back of the car you can see our exhaust uh the exhaust that we picked for this setup is the cob titanium um that's the quad tip so in my experience a lot of titanium exhaust can be very very loud um but the tone is really nice right well this kind of gives you the best of both worlds right so the tone and everything from this exhaust beautiful but it's also a lot quieter than the typical titanium exhaust that you get so it's quiet perfect for a daily driver otl 400 package like we we're saying it's supposed to be a car that you get to drive every day while having the performance of you know a crazy race car right the suspension has been completely redone so we have, oh geez, you can see a little bit, but it is the Versus um, lower control arms. And then we also have SPC um, toe, uh, adjustable toe arms as well. When you're lowering these cars, typically you have to have all these um, arms changed just because you have to be able to adjust the camber and the toe, otherwise your alignment's not even gonna be close. So along with that, um, sway bars, control arms, pretty much everything has been touched underneath the car. Um, we have the white line bump steer kit. So basically when you're lowering the car, you want to change uh, the, it actually, you know, changes the steering geometry of the car. So the bump steer kit kind of fixes that. And then also we have sway bars and I believe those are white line as well. Um, and then Fuji Racing, we have the rear sway bar um, stiffeners. So basically it's just a bracket that attaches from um, the subframe to the actual uh, sway bar brackets that are, they're just kind of flimsy. If you look at them, you can tell that they would have a lot of flex. If you are upgrading your sway bar, it would probably flex that more than the actual sway bar itself. So when upgrading a sway bar, it's always good to do that as well. Basically, this car has been gone through completely. Suspension, sound system, engine. The clutch is an ACT floating twin. Um, I think really the only thing that we did not upgrade on this car is the rear differential and the transmission. Those are all stock and the axles and drive shaft as well. But as far as everything else goes, this car has been completely gone through. In my opinion, it is probably the best Subaru STI that you could buy. And um, I, I'm just really proud of how the package we've got together because 
It um, showcases everything of, of why the car is really good to begin with stock, but it, it's just like an enhancement, you know? So the, you're not getting crazy power. Um, it's very drivable and you can drive it every day. And obviously with the Mtron, you get a bunch of really cool motorsport functions like rolling anti-lag. Um, we get crazy, crazy amounts of monitoring uh, for logs. And you know, just overall the, having the control with that ECU and having a really nice, simple setup, it really makes this car almost unstoppable. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think that the OTL 400 package, if this is something you're considering, I would recommend that you get all our additional add-ons, but of course, you don't have to. So if you guys have any questions about the OTL 400 package, you want more information, or if you want to uh, email us to inquire about this, um, you can hit us up at sales at offlineperformance.com. We have a bunch of links in the description that um, have all the products that are listed on this car. And um, obviously, if you want any of this, like I said, you can just call, give us a call or hit up sales at offlineperformance.com. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.